Amen. Amen. So, here it is. I'm reborn. That means there's a rebirth process. That means that I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. That's what it means to be saved. Let's be clear. You coming to church don't make you saved. Amen. Let's be clear. You being baptized and going down in water does not make you saved. That's right. You quoting scripture and saying chants does not make you saved. Amen. You completing new member orientation and shaking the pastor's hand and the deacons and the leaders of the church giving you uh, your right hand of fellowship, that does not make you saved. Uh -huh. Being in church makes you no more saved and makes you no more of a Christian than does you standing in a garage make you a car. Uh -huh. So just because you go stand in a garage, amen, uh, that don't make you a car, duh. So just because you come and stand or sit in a church, that don't make you a Christian. Duh. In order to become a Christian, you have to first meet Christ. You have to first establish a relationship with Christ. You have to give him your life. And it is in that that he gives you new life. We are reborn. It's rebirth. Are you hearing me on today? And because of that, we are rejuvenated. God does something in us and through us. Amen. I'm sorry. I keep saying rejuvenated second. I really mean to say regenerated. He, he regenerates us. He changes us. <coughs> Watch this. Because of this new life as a new creation. See, a new creation is really talking about an internal transformation. Mm -hmm. New creation. That means as a person in Christ, there's an internal change. There's an internal transformation. So with that, watch this. We have new life and we have new light. Amen. Life, L-I-F-E, light, L-I-G-H-T, amen. New life means that I have a new life in Christ. He's given me a new spiritual life. And so where I was born into death, I now have re been reborn, amen, and I'm born now into life. You've been given eternal life, amen. Amen. When you give your life to Christ, he gives you eternal life. Amen. So instead of death, when you die, uh -huh. there's a transition to eternal life. Amen. 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 The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is what? Amen. Eternal life. And so that's what you now get is eternal life. What you were going to get was eternal death and eternal damnation. But because of my new relationship and your new relationship with Christ Jesus, you now have new life, rebirth, reborn. You've been regenerated. So therefore, you're no longer going to hell because you have new life and you have new light. My new life gives me new life. So now with my new life, I see life differently. I've got new insight. I've got new revelation. Yeah. For those of you who are saved and born again in Christ Jesus, remember when you first got saved. Remember how excited you were. Remember how things were totally different. Amen. That was new life, and it was new light. I remember in my earlier years of being saved, I was just, man, there was a spiritual enlightenment spiritual awakening, my spiritual senses were enhanced and it even impacted and affected my natural senses to some degree. But my spiritual senses, I now saw things I didn't see before. I heard things that I didn't hear before. I was in tune with things that, no, but that prior to I was not in tune to. Remember Jesus says that there are those who hear but do not hear? It's the spiritual awakening and enlightenment. It's the new light that you have because of your new life. Are y'all hearing me on today? Amen. So that is regeneration. Uh -huh. But then it brings about rejuvenation because, man, it's just, there's this, this, this rush and or this breath of fresh air that is inside of you. I know I've been shamed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You hear the saints singing, I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven then sign my name. Step in the water. The water was cold. It chilled my body, but didn't chill my soul. 
It was something new. I feel something new and something great and something exciting. Why? Because I've been reborn and regenerated and therefore rejuvenated. I'm excited about life. I'm excited about my new life in Christ Jesus. That's where we begin to see new Christians on fire for Christ. I'm telling every man, woman, boy, and girl about Christ and can't wait to get to church. It's not I'll meet you there. No, I'm going to beat you there. I want more of that. That's what it's, that's what it's all about. Amen. Lord, take me back to that. Take me back where I first believed. Take me back. It's rejuvenation. Amen. So first of all, and you become a new creation. And that new creation is because of the internal transformation that is taking place. He says, if any man be in Christ, have a relationship with Christ, he be in Christ and Christ be in him. He is therefore now a new creation. Amen. Reborn, regenerated, rejuvenated. New life and new life. But then secondly and lastly, he becomes a new creation. I mean, um, a new creature. Amen. He becomes a new creature. So as a new creature, I'm a different person. Amen. New creation is the internal. New creature is the external. Amen. So if new creation is new life and new light, new creature is new lifestyle. Amen. Preach, Pastor Sam. Amen. Amen. That's pretty good. He, he, as a new creature, you now have a new lifestyle. Amen. And so that's where the external begins to become visible to others. You don't say the things you used to say. Or not as often. <laughs> you don't go where you used to go. Or not as often. <laughs> the things you used to love, you now hate. The things you used to hate, you now love. There's a, there's a, there's a process where, man, I'm living differently because I look at life Different. Right. Amen. Because I have new life yes. and because I have new light, Amen. I now have a new lifestyle. Amen. And so the things that used to be desirable to me and pleasurable to me, I can live without that. Uh -huh. I used to look forward to this, turning up and, and turning out. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what? My new way of thinking, I don't even want that no more. Yeah. I don't even desire that no more. Uh, I, I remember when I first uh, got serious about Christ. <clears throat> ladies night. Oh, that's the night. Oh, what a night. Ladies night. Amen. That's, that's, that's where you can find me any given week. Wednesday night, lady night. I got saved. Wednesday nights, I now find myself wanting to go to prayer service. Wow. It, was a, it was a lifestyle shift because there was a priority shift. There was now no longer this craving and desire to be in the club scene on ladies' night. I wanted more of this relationship with Amen. God. I wanted more of this rejuvenation and, and regeneration. I wanted more of that. And so I replaced ladies' night with Bible study and prayer service. Friday night, Saturday night, turn up. Friday night, just got paid, all that Johnny Camp stuff. That was the mindset of mentality. Now, all of a sudden, I don't want that no more. Right. I find my, not myself looking for Friday night services instead of Friday night live. Amen. Yeah. Friday night services. <laughs> Amen. He's looking too. And so I started going to revivals and church services and crusades and stuff like that. Saturday mornings, I, I, I now find myself at men's breakfasts, mm -hmm. the men's ministry, and, 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 and going to choir rehearsals and going to um, um, usher meetings and what have you, and I served as usher and served in the choir and what have you, and in the men's ministry. All of a sudden, there's new desires that you have. I don't even want that no more. Certain things I put down and put away, I don't even want it no more. That's what happens when you are a new creation and you become a new creature. The Bible says, old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. But that does not happen if you don't desire, uh -huh. if you don't make decisions, and if you don't develop yourself. Uh -huh. It's an intentional act. So in being developed, I now expose myself to things that are helping me to be That's better. Right. 
and more and more like Christ. Do y'all see the process? See, it, it, it requires something. And just like a person who's trying to get their life right, health-wise, physical-wise, and so on and so forth, many of them go and find themselves an accountability partner or they find themselves a coach. That's right, amen. And they coach them along the way to help them to develop the discipline that they need to do it of their own, to find the right ways of doing it. Because you can go to the gym and just be doing stuff and have no results because you ain't doing it right. That's right, amen. I'm, I'm out of time, but I'm gonna say this. You know, it's like, folk, I've been seeing videos, funny videos of people who go to the gym and they're using the equipment all the wrong way. <laughs> some of y'all have seen some of these YouTube videos and what have you. Just Google it, you'll find it. Hey, Amen. They're doing stuff with the equipment that the equipment was not designed to, you know what I'm saying? And what have you. So you're doing all this, you're in motion, but ain't nothing happening. Well, you're not getting the pecs and or the biceps or the abs and all the stuff that you want because you're not using it right. You're not doing it right. So you got to find someone to help you to learn how to use the equipment so you can maximize it and get the best results. Right. Come here, let me tell you something before I go to my seat. If you want to get a better, a be better in your spiritual world with Christ, then hook up with someone who knows what they're doing. Okay. Hook up with a seasoned saint who can help you to look at the Bible and read the Bible to the point that you understand. Understand the Bible. Amen. Amen. Get uh, 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 become a part of a Sunday school and Bible study where people can help break down the word so the word makes sense. Amen. Amen. You could therefore benefit from it. So this is what I wanted to share with you in this first installment of this series. Amen. There's some things that we can learn, some things that we can implement in our lives as we seek to become better in Christ. As we seek to grow deeper, as we seek to go higher, and as we seek, amen, uh, to, 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 to grow in Christ. And, and, and these, these are just some of the, the things I wanted to share with you. So if you receive that, yes. amen. amen, why don't you give God a shout out?